So this week you're going to talk about in your discussion the infam infamous case of John slash Joan. Uh, and this is all um, based on information from uh, David Reimer's story. Uh, and so this is about intersexed surgeries and what to do when children are born with both or in David Reimer's case, there was an accident that happened uh, during a circumcision, basically a botched circumcision. And um, the parents basically had to make a decision. Are they going to raise him as a girl? Or are they going to raise him as a boy? Uh, and so David Reimer, if you look back at, hold on, let me go back to the weak information. Uh, I give you gave you information um, that pertains to David Reimer. Uh, this is just part one. You'll be able to find other parts on there uh, if you look. Um, I also gave you information on the brain. This is a film. Is your brain male or female? What you're going to use for this assignment down here is your brain male or female and report back on that. But you might find some interesting things in here to discuss in your discussion as well. Uh, and so John and Joan are just, uh, you know, how we refer to people as like John Doe or you know, things like that. Um, just kind of generic names for males and females. Uh, but this is specific to David Reimer's case. And so, you know, you can do a little investigating on your own too. There's an article also that I gave you from um, uh, John Colapinto that might be of interest to you in regards to this case, uh, but you're just kind of sharing answers to these questions in regards to what happened. And so just to kind of recap the case, uh, this botched circumcision basically gave David a penis that wasn't going to work properly as he aged. And so the parents with the doctor money's encouragement uh, decided to raise him as a girl. So he had a surgery, um, a series of surgeries throughout his life, uh, but they raised him as a girl despite being born as a boy. And so there's complications and problems that happened along the way. Uh, and so you're talking about intersex surgery um, in general for this uh, discussion this week despite this not necessarily being an intersexed case, okay? But you can kind of see the overlap between the two. Uh, so I can see some have already started to post in this. Uh, other than that, I look forward to hearing what else you guys come up with and what your responses are to this case. And if you have any questions, reach out. Otherwise, I hope you have a great week.